Amicia! Amicia, you won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the sling! That's not true! He was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh! If you don't play by the rules... You're gonna tell me... Hugo! ...about rules! I keep telling Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Gently now, gently. Don't stop. Go on. Hugo! Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia, think. Is that a... A, a village? Here? Hey! Wait! Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Clavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, a child never runs away without a reason. Open the door. I'm going to find him. All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. <sighs> I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood. But to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go, and pray there is still time. Mommy, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him. He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie. <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mommy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. You go now. You go. Where are you? Shouting! Where's your sister, eh? I don't know! Yeah, she would make ah! it. Well, look what we have here! Amicia! I'm here! Everything's all right, Hugo. It's over. Hey, are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? 
I heard mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. In a row, I've been on Episangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? Soon. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. People. Breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the Chosen One. It's 
coming. Medicus, how has today's refining gone? The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the might. What was that noise? There is nothing there. No point continuing. there. The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. <clears throat> Twenty pounds. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so, because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body can take such quantities. Afraid, not afraid. Controlling the city during the conjuration. You on the list? Yeah, I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us, and I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. What was that noise? Nothing. I need to calm down. That's enough! I demand to see Vitalis now! The Grand Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop! I represent the Pope! Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow...
follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you more cautious. <sighs> Madness. Don't listen to them. The most important thing is mommy. <clears throat> My head. Sh shut up. <clears throat> Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. By freeing the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening earlier. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier or walks beside the one who tames it. Master or slave, order or chaos. <sighs> but how can we be sure? What is that? Uh, Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. Uh, no I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Mommy. They said, I have to keep going down.
Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. Now spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... Uh, if I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Uh, alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but... It seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon. You are to be excommunicated. One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commands you. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice de Rune has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. Both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. A daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Stupid. Attention! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique. I'm unique. At ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. Congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> it seems he has a sense of humor. That he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see his mother myself. What's he going to do with her?
no, another way, quickly. Captain, uh, I was told that the carrier of the macular is here. Is that right? The child turned himself in this morning. Apparently there was a disagreement with his sister. Ah, uh, he's still a kid, true. Hard to believe he's gonna save us all. If everything goes to plan. We'll make sure it does. As I was telling you, this god was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant nest. It's just a matter of time. So let us pray that Vitalis' conjuration ceremony will indeed take place. Where is he? I won't find Mammy without him. Uh, tell me. Why can't I hear you like the others? Seeing as we have to transport them. You have nothing to fear from them. Meticulous crossbreeding and a little alchemy has tempered their instincts. Not to mention a radical change of diet. <sighs> Good. Hey, kid. <gasps> Help me. No. Help me. What's wrong with him now? Hey, oh, no. die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather he waited a little while. Rats prefer fresh meat. Damn you! You'll all go to hell! You, you and your fucking rats! Save us this respite. He's going to get mommy. Your death <gasps> is not an end. For your blood shall nourish a new race of angels. They shall be your children. Your pride. It's horrible. If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll cooperate. I saw Lord Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Huh. Serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, no. She's way too stubborn. But no match for our torture. She must be near. We can't get out. Ah, please. At least let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass can still be of value to our alchemists. Think yourself lucky. Oh. Bastard. Hey, kid, what the hell are you doing here? Shh, I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh, you should have. Magistrate Arun. He's talking to me. For the last time, will you answer my questions? Or perhaps you are still upset about what happened to your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh no, he's coming back. 
Hugo? But, but... So they... Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia? My darling... You must go... If they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo... Did they take your blood? Oh my god... Alright, Hugo. We'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Can you make it there? Off you go then. Go. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. When I return, I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy it. Just do your job. The captain of the guard doesn't appreciate improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet them here. This might give me a promotion. Authority, results. I thought you right, had to be efficient. Not the room. No, I miss you, was he? Lady. No. So, I so. don't need her. Anyway, the knives are sharpened. Hammer, pliers, fiber, and saw. Everything is ready. Have I forgotten anything? Hm. With the captain around, the best double check. Oh, the rats. They are all afraid of rats. If I can just free them. Yes. Oh, that's for the cage. Come on. <clears throat> quick, quick. Hey, the cage broke. Chief, we need to go. Oh, oh. Well done. Go oh, away. Quickly now. The key. It's going to... Ah! My head! Stop shouting! <clears throat>
It's all right. Shh. No one will hurt you now. My hero. How do you feel? Your head. It... it talks to me. All the time now. And what does it say? It says... it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Tommy, I'm scared. We'll never get out of here. We don't have a choice. If I am with you, the voice, are you ready to reply? Hugo, can you hear them? Mm, yes. They all have the same voice. The one that makes my head hurt. Don't try to ignore it. Embrace it completely. Don't be afraid. Yes. was the macula, but you answered it. Let's get going. Those screams. They must have let rats loose on the prisoners again. Come on. Find this document and get out of here. Rat. What? Rats? No! No! <clears throat> Run, you big coward. Scared, aren't you? Oh, Hugo, this is not a game. This power is dangerous. You have to control yourself. Yes, Mummy. So, that's my disease. You're not sick, Hugo. It's a... It's a gift. I'll explain later. A gift? Ah, you found her. Oh, oh maybe I'm going crazy. Roads are in a terrible state. How are we going to deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. they do to them? They make them eat people's blood. Really? Yes, it's strange. I can feel the black hearts, but not these ones. I see. We need to find a way to get out of here. Are you 
you still don't like Hugo. It feels a bit funny. It will make you tired. That's normal. Tell me if you feel poorly. Yes. Decides. It's complicated to explain. But Amicia doesn't know. No. I'll explain later. We had an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? So, Beatrice, you are reunited with your son at last. I know what you have done to him. You have taken what you wanted, now let him go. Oh, you insult me, Madame de Rune. Your son is the natural carrier of the macula. And it has not yet finished with him. Which means, neither have I. But this you know. Vitalis, let us finish this. Nicolas, you cannot understand. You feel it as I do. Do you not, boy? We are bound by blood now. What do you think, Hugo? Your family grows larger, huh? I beg of you. I promise to help you, but allow my son to leave. His destiny is not to be a Darun. His destiny is to be here, at my side. You are a monster. A monster? Madame, you have yet to see just how. the threshold as we'd hoped. Do you know why? Amicia. It's Amicia. How tiresome. But he's close now. And we have other pawns we can play. Take her away. Leave him alone. What else do you want? <laughs> A lot more. So much more. 
And you will stay here with me to make sure we get it. Do not worry, Hugo. I have complete faith in you. We shall succeed.